Okay, here we're going to identify, we've got eight functions. We're going to determine which of those are exponential functions. So recall an exponential function is a function of the form a raised to the power of x. And a has to satisfy a couple, a couple conditions. Either it has to be between 0 and 1, or a has to be strictly greater than 1. We don't want a to equal 1, nor do we want it to be a negative number. Okay? We don't want a, a negative number raised to a power. So, okay, so which one of these, maybe all of them, maybe none of them, can we write in this form? Well, certainly the very first function, that looks exactly like an exponential to me. We've got a number raised to a, a, an exponent, a, a variable, and our number is certainly greater than 1, so g of x works. That would certainly be an exponential. Notice we have this next one, h of x equals 2 raised to the power of 3x. We could write that as 2 cubed raised to the power of x. That still gives us the exact same thing. 2 to the third power is 8. So really this function is the same thing as 8 raised to the power of x. So that one is also an exponential function. Well, p of x equals negative 4. That's just a constant. That doesn't work. Now, f of x equals 1 raised to the power of 3x plus 4. That sort of, right, we've got this number. We've got some variables, and we've got a variable in the exponent. But 1 to any power just equals 1. So that's a constant, so that one doesn't work m of x equals 50 plus x. That's a linear function. That doesn't work. q of x equals 8x minus 3. Well, again, 8 to the power of x, we said that's exponential. The minus 3 is just going to shift our function down. So 8x minus 3, that also looks like an exponential function to me. x squared, well, that's quadratic. That doesn't work. Again, and n of x equals 5x, that's just a linear, a linear function. So it looks like we have 1, 2, 3 exponential functions.